Chris Fishing Channel. So today I'm gonna do like a rod review and an unboxing. Thanks to ISO Fishing, I bought two new setups, both from Dawa. So let's start my old one. So nice little Dawa cup. So I picked this up two weeks ago, testing out very nice, very line. So this is a Dawa Legalis 3000 DC, thanks to ISO. Drag, I think nine kilos. So this is a 3000 size reel with a spore of a capacity spore of 4000. So this is um, a discount 130, uh, 130, 100, I don't remember, but yeah. Next one is the T Dawa TD Hyper Mark II. So this is the second gen. This is a medium light, six foot six, cast weight, um, cast weight, hold on, let me check, four to 14 grams, so yeah. This one is graphite, Fuji rings, this one's for 140 or 30, so in total this setup is $300. Next, put this all back, so that's my new setup. I picked up a brand new one, so if I brag my bag of goodies, this, I got another real hat, house because who doesn't like it, and um, Shimano Cynodon, this is um, 111, got some 12 pound meter because I'm mostly going for kingfish, bigger size fish, the so 12 pound, got 20 grams ball sinkers, and the line that I fed it with, so yeah. I'll start with the reel. Open this up. Thanks to Jay for spoiling this up and trying to find the perfect suit. So this is a Cenodon reel. Um, it's a 4,000 size. Line is 15 pound thread. I think it's J thread. Let me change. No, it's not. Yeah, this reel is mono, so super nice. It's a, it's one less than one less ball bearing, but this one's a lot more light. This one's a lot more heavier. But Shimano, good thing about Shimano, they're um, Dawa. They look expensive for cheaper ones, but uh, they won't last that long. More like. Um, a Shimano, which can go as cheap as fifty dollars, it can last a long time and stay its quality. So yeah, a Cenodon. Okay, rod I paired with. It's kind of a little bit weird since the Dawa and Shimano rod. Okay, this is the Dawa T Dawa T Black. Uh, what type of gin? Hold on one sec. The mangrove, mangrove masher, I think. This is a medium six foot six, six foot one of those two. And then cast weight seven to 21 grams, which you can put any medium sized lures for um, some fish. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab some scissors. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you of the things. There's a 10 year warranty. That's the best thing about Shimano rooms. So yeah, I will get you back and I'll get some scissors. Back. Put some scissors. So I'm gonna cut these tags off. This is brand new, I just picked it up today. So if you're interested, um, Team Dawa. So these two rods that I picked up are one of the best of Dawa rods for its price range. So this, so it's a great starter rod. So yeah, the, the specs, uh, this, these rings are Fuji rings, so yeah. I'm just gonna attach it. Looks really nice. It's kind of a little bit weird since um, uh, a Shimano goes on a downhand rod. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Super nice. It's not that heavy. The rod's very light. This is graphite, so. The tips are very fragile and you do not want to break it or else your heart's going to be broken. Find out there. 
This is a roll. roll. So it's six, the tips are pretty thick. Nice click, drag clicking stuff. Nice drag. So yeah, this is a rod I got. I am gonna, my favorite thing about it, if I detach this again, favorite thing about it is this Dawa logo. It's the same for the one I have, the blue one. So this one as well. So these both have the Dawa logo. Yeah. If you recommend buying these on a budget, or check. So the first one I show you is pretty high priced range. So if you ever want to buy it and your budgets are a little bit too low for that range, you can go for any sorts of other rods. So yeah. If you don't know what good is it, you can head to Shinshin Tackle, which is a store I got and ask Jay or any other workers there and they, he will, they will direct you the type of uh, fish you catch so they have very good advice so yeah the hand looks the hand is pretty nice team dawa you can head to their main store if you want the main store is don't know where it's someone at the park i'll put the link down below and the website so you can check them out personally the best store around sydney so yeah this is a rod, super nice. This one is a two three hundred dollar budget rod as well. But if your budget's smaller, which is totally understandable, you can go for like a Dawa Airdex rod with like a same Shimano reel or any sorts of reel. You can go under two two hundred dollars, or you have other choices or other needs of fishing. So yeah, yeah, I'll show you some of my other things. This is a this is Jay's favorite, so if you don't know Jay's one, the work is out there. Favorite lead on. It's really nice. It's a uh, expert. Jay, expert lead on. This is 12 pounds, if I'm correct. It should be 12 pounds. Jay, this is super nice because it's in a little case. But 12 is the highest can go. And the case I should put on. This if you're asking why I'm using a a Dawa reel case, because if you don't know that Shimano reel patches are more expensive when they have like the exact same material, which is a little bit odd. So I prefer you going more for like a Dawa reel pouch because they're more reliable instead of other type of reel brands. So yeah, you can fit it over here. Gonna fit super snug. This is a medium size, so it's mostly gonna fit for like 4,000, 3,000. Any of those reels, small ones for 2,000 to 1,000. So, yeah, uh, they're very nice setup. So, these are two set. Thank you for thanks for ISO for intro for actually helping me out to choose the right fishing gear. Because when I got to his store, I was like completely thinking, Oh, I don't know what to buy with my money because they have a lot of expensive rods there. But they're worldly priced and customer service is like fantastic. They have like Japanese brand, Korean brands, any of those brands you can, uh, they normally can find in different countries. So if you want to buy some tunnel tackle, you can head to their store or their website. So yeah, that's all I have for these two rods. I'm very happy with them. And I'm gonna post a video tomorrow post a video on Sunday because I'm going to film tomorrow and I'm going to go to a pub. See you there. Bye.